Omega Healthcare Investors is one of the most popular REITs in the world and this is because it combines an investment grade rated balance sheet with a near 10% dividend yield which is pretty rare. Moreover, it has actually paid a stable or growing dividend for now nearly 20 years in a row with which, which would suggest that its dividend is safe. But is it a good investment opportunity today? Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run an investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. In today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you why I would probably stay away from Omega Healthcare at this time. But before I get into it, if you could please make me a favor and like this video, I just recently created this channel and it will help me a lot. Thank you very much. And so what are the issues here? Firstly, its payout ratio is very high. It's around 92%, which leaves very little room for error. Then secondly, the company's credit trading is triple B minus, which is just above junk. And I fear that the company might lose its investment grade rating in the coming years, which would result in much higher interest expense to the company. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, I think that the health of its tenant is today very questionable. Omega invests mainly in higher risk, uh, higher cap rate properties in the, in the skilled nursing sector. And these properties typically have rent coverage ratios of 1 to 1.5. And today they are definitely on the low side of this. Uh, rent coverage ratios really leave very little room for error, which means that its tenants are struggling to turn a profit and many actually losing money today. In the third quarter last year already, uh, it had around 12% of its uh, revenue missing because tenants were not paying rent. And just recently now the company issued another warning and also noted in its investor presentation that in the near term, its dividend payout and its leverage will be a bit over its historical range. And so I think that the risk of a dividend cut is really high here. The company probably should have already cut its dividend, but it's hesitant to do so because it doesn't want to ruin this two decade track record of steady dividend payment since this has greatly helped its market sentiment in the past. Even today, whenever you read a positive article on, on Omega Healthcare, it's typically heavily focused on the dividend aspect of the company, but a lot, of, a lot of investors are in it for the dividend, but if they cut the dividend now, I fear that this will ruin the image of the company and cause its uh, share price to crash, but they probably should do it because now they are putting the financial health of the company at risk and this, this could cause them to lose their investment grade rating, which ultimately will probably hurt shareholders even more in the long run. But to be clear, this doesn't mean that Omega Healthcare is necessarily going to perform badly. It may, may have to cut its dividend and it will may perhaps then manage to restructure its leases and recover from there. Or, or perhaps it will even manage to restructure leases without cutting the dividend and will just... And in that case, I think it could become a very rewarding investment in the coming years. But, but I just simply don't like the risk to reward as much as many of its peers like Global Medical REIT. That one specializes in medical office buildings. Its rent coverage ratios are much higher at around five times, also equally discounted today. So, so I don't see the point of buying Omega Healthcare given all the issues that it has, the, the risk of a, of a dividend cut, the risk of losing its investment grade rating in the near term when you could simply invest in some of, some of its peers at even lower valuations. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, please like and subscribe if you're into REIT investing content. I plan to make weekly videos on REIT investing going forward. I actually even have a few REIT CEOs who have accepted to come on the channel in the coming week, so you don't want to miss that. And finally, if you want to stay up to date with my latest research on the REIT sector, please follow me on Twitter. I'll put also a link in the bio. See you next time. Bye-bye.